In this video, we're going to conclude Unit 1, Lab 5 by having one sprite follow the other sprite around the stage. In the previous video, we had the first sprite, sprite 1, or the gray sprite, follow the mouse cursor around the stage. And then we had sprite 2 forever point towards that first sprite. So I'm actually going to click the green flag so you guys can see what we did in the last video. And we have the second sprite pointing towards the, uh, the first sprite. So what we have to do in this video is get that other sprite, sprite 2, to start following my mouse cursor, or sprite 1. In order to do that, we want to change sprite 2's code to point towards sprite only until it's touching the sprite. That's going to be useful because we're going to have it moving until it touches in just a few minutes. So let's see what it says. In 1A, it says select sprite 2 by clicking its button below the stage. So I've already selected Sprite 2, and we want to replace the Forever block with the Repeat Until block. So let me stop the running scripts, and let me pull off the Forever block, and we want to replace that with a Repeat Until block, which is found in the Control Palette. And I want to repeat the following until something is true. So over here in this little area, we have to bring in a block that will either return true or false. If we look at the Sensing Palette, we have a touching block, which we're going to learn about what these blocks look like and what they mean, what they represent, these little hexagonal or hexagonal blocks. But we want to have it repeat, point towards sprite, until it's touching the sprite. So when I click on the green flag, it's going to still point towards the sprite, but if I bring the sprite and have it touch, it's going to stop moving. And you guys can see that the highlight around the script disappeared, because it's not running anymore. It repeated the following until it touched the sprite. And so let me just run that again. If I hit the green flag, the script is running and you can see the highlight around the script. But if I touch with my sprite 1 and I touch sprite 2, it will stop being highlighted because that script has stopped running. Sprite 1 is still running because I don't have any code in there that will make it stop. In fact, it's going on forever. So let's change that. Let's make it not do the following forever and also use a repeat block. So instead of, let me pause it by hitting the stop sign, instead of doing the following forever, we also want to repeat this until it touches the other sprite. Now keep in mind that I do have control of this one. I'm going to be moving my mouse around, so it's going to be following my mouse, but I want to have it follow the mouse until it touches sprite 2. So now when I click on the green flag, it looks the same as it, does, as it did in the last video, but if I bring them together, they both stop moving. All right, so, so far we've gotten both sprites to stop moving if they touch, but we want to add a line of code to make sprite 2 move towards sprite 1. And to do that, we can add a move block. We go into motion, and we can have it move and go to that position. Actually, we don't want to have it inside of the sprite block. We want to have it inside of Sprite 2, because Sprite 2 is going to be the one that's following. So I have to make sure I'm in Sprite 2. And I want it to move slowly towards the first sprite. Now, it says to choose a tiny number here, but then it says to choose a number that's probably less than 1. So let's try 0.5 first. So what it's going to do is move about half a step towards Sprite 1 until it touches the sprite. So when I hit the green flag, it doesn't really work. Now the reason for that is because they're already touching. So when I hit the green flag, it immediately stops and we don't even get to see it. So let me pull them apart just for a second. And now if I hit the green flag, it should start moving towards my first sprite. And it looks like it's working correctly. Now I'm going to let it touch. I'm going to stop my other sprite. And once it touches, they both should stop. This one should stop following my cursor. And the sprite 2 should stop moving towards sprite 1 because they have already touched. For number 6, what we want to do is have them have a conversation when they stop. And we can do that by adding code to sprite 2's script. So I'm already in Sprite 2, and I'm going to add some code to make it have a conversation. I'm not going to go so far as to write like a back and forth conversation for like a few minutes, but I'm just going to write a little bit. Let me go into the, we have to go into the control palette and bring in the tell block. So I think this is the first time you guys are seeing the tell block. 
And what the tell block does is it, it allows one sprite to control another sprite. It tells that sprite to do something. So if I'm in sprite two, I can tell sprite one to do something. And I can put in a command here to have sprite one do something. So let me have sprite one maybe say something. Let me just test it out by having it say hello for two seconds. So I'm going to repeat until it's touching Sprite, and then it's going to tell Sprite to say hello. So let me run this. Let me actually, I have to pull these apart because if I start it again, they'll be touching. But right now it's following. When the blue Sprite touches the gray Sprite, the gray Sprite is going to say hello. And that's exactly what happens. Now we can have the blue Sprite or Sprite 2 say something itself. Uh, let's have it say, hey, what's up? And then I want to have the other sprite, sprite 1, say not much. So I'm going to tell it, I'm going to tell sprite 1 to say not much for two seconds. So now they're going to have a little conversation. Let me uh, split them up again. When I hit the green flag, Sprite 2 follows the gray sprite, and when they touch, they should have a little conversation. Let's see if it works. Hello. Hey, what's up? Not much. And that's perfect. Now, it does say at the bottom of number 6 that if we want to prevent the two sprites from being stuck to each other and unable to move in the beginning, we want them to start out apart. So we could have them go to separate areas when the green flag is clicked before they follow the rest of the script. If there's time or if your teacher assigns it, make sure to give the sprites costumes so that they're not just like these two little arrow looking things and you can have them converse and have a whole discussion. You just have to have one sprite control the other sprite using the tell block. That does it for unit one lab five. I will see you guys in unit two.